What's going on, everybody? It's Jared from HelloQuest. Now, let's talk potatoes. Oh, but before we talk potatoes, I have a disclaimer. I am not a nutritionist, a doctor, a physician, a pianist, microbiologist, a biologist, any of that sort of things. So, everything I'm about to tell you, oh, there goes a potato, uh, is from various websites that I have researched over the past few days. I put the link down in the description. And so, this, this is just an opinion. It is not professional advice. Now, back to the potatoes. Now, just about everybody loves potatoes. I mean, they are such a versatile root vegetable. You can steam them, you can bake them, you can dice them, you can shred them, you can boil them, mash them, put them in a stew. <laughs> Get that reference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And almost everybody's favorite way, you can deep fry them. You can eat potatoes hot, you can eat potatoes cold, you can eat potatoes raw if you want to, but I wouldn't suggest that. I mean, it's not the best idea in my opinion, but hey, if that's what you want to do, you do you. I'm not here to tell you what to not and to what to do. Oh. Now in front of me, you can see I have a wide variety of potatoes. And there's a reason for that. Because they're all different, each one has different properties. For instance, the one I took a bite out of is a red potato. See? Red potato. Red potato. Now according to my research, red potatoes contain the highest amount of vitamins and minerals, specifically the ones that are anti-cancer and anti-inflammatories. And they also boost the metabolism of carbohydrate breakdown. So, you can utilize the carbohydrates you get from the red potatoes very well. Next, we have the sweet potatoes. Now, these potatoes are delicious. They are naturally sweet. The inside is orange. Look at it. Now, there is another kind of sweet potato that looks purple on the outside, but is white on the inside. It's crazy, right? Now, sweet potatoes are really high in fiber, and they also help with connective tissue, bone health, and prevent blood clots. And because they are naturally sweet, they're not very high in sugar, so it doesn't raise your blood sugar. So if you're a diabetic, sweet potatoes are great. And you know what? I actually think I wanna put one of these in the microwave. Hold on one second. So next, we're gonna move on to my favorite one, the purple potato, or as I call it, the PP. That's why it's my favorite, because I abbreviate it like that. I know it's so elementary and silly of me, but whatever. Anyways, these purple skinned sweet potatoes are not the PP we're looking for, because I'm looking for these ones. Now, we chop these open. And it's got the purpley flesh inside. The naturally incurring purple pigmentation inside of these potatoes make it so it has the highest amount of antioxidants. And it also has anti-cancerous um, properties, uh, specifically uh, colon, bladder, and breast cancer. If those cells are inside of you, the purple pigmentation that naturally occurs inside of the purple potato, the pee, pee then it helps diminish the growth. And it also helps reduce hypertension. <sighs> Isn't that great? Potatoes are so much fun. Now, to the white potato. Now the white potato and the rest of potato often look very similar. I mean, this one's 
and yeah, yeah. but we're talking about the white potato here. White potatoes are considered to have the highest protein content, but they also have the highest calorie count. So if you're wanting to carbo load for an athletic event, white potato is what you wanna be eating. But if you just eat the white potato with all of that protein that you're not using up and all those calories that you're not using up, then it's gonna go and uh, sit, store up somewhere else. You know what I'm talking about. The rest of the potato, like I said, gets confused with the white potato, but it's not the same. And it is the choice potato for like making french fries and potato chips and hash browns. But the russet potato is much higher in fiber than the white potato. And it also helps boost your immune system. So there you have it. Depending on who you talk to, potatoes are good for you or bad for you. But really, it's all about how you potato, how much potato you're eating, what potato you're eating, how much of which potato you're eating, how your potato is prepped, presented, and consumed, and if you're exercising. I mean, really, if you're eating any foods at all and you're not exercising, it's not gonna do you any good. Personally, I love potatoes. I eat them all the time, and, oh. Ah, now I get to enjoy what I call nature's hot pocket, which is a steamed microwave potato. So good. Now, remember, a lot of the vitamins and minerals are in the skin of the potato. So if you're just peeling off the skin, you're not getting a whole bunch of the good stuff. So remember to eat the skin. I hope you feel a little bit more educated about potatoes. If not, that's cool too. I hope you found some entertainment watching me grasp all these various potatoes. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you later.